British Columbia has been charting its own course from the beginning. Uh, Minister Dix and, and Dr. Henry uh, raised uh, alarm bells about COVID-19 long before anyone else was doing so. Uh, and we were benefited from that as a, as a community. And that's why we're where we are today. We are now proceeding to the restart plan. And as I said, we're going to be doing it cautiously based on the science. If we see a spike, uh, we'll respond. But uh, Dr. Henry will be giving us advice on that. So best pass it to her. This is something obviously that we've been very concerned about and thinking about from the very beginning. And that's why, you know, this thoughtful and careful approach is the way we're going. We do not want to be starting and stopping and starting and stopping. So I believe that this plan and the way we've put it together gives us the tools so that we can increase our contacts, our numbers and our safe contacts in a way that keeps us on a steady state for at least the coming months. Um, as I've mentioned before, we don't know what's going to happen in the fall. We don't know if there's going to be a resurgence once influenza and other respiratory viruses come back. So that's why it's so important and part of our plan to make sure that we continue to have the vigilance in the public health system, the testing that we need, the contact tracing, and we'll be monitoring things very carefully. But the plan and the thoughtfulness and the, the purpose that we have is to make sure that we can get through at least until the fall and we see what happens. So uh, just to say that this is modeling and that's um, a caveat because modeling is only good, um, it, it only reflects what's being put into it. And so it is something that has helped us come up with this strategies that we're talking about. So it's a common sense way. It helps us say, okay, if we are between you know, where we are now and we can essentially double our contacts, then we'll probably be okay. And we'll be continuing to follow the models and putting in our data as we go along. So it's not a, that that's going to predict what's happening. And what we need to know is, that, okay, that gives us a little bit of a sense of what could happen and how can we increase our social connections and increase our economy and get things moving again, but staying within that safety zone. So really it's, it's not um, 61 or 62 or 49. It's about saying, okay, we need to take some, uh, some measures to increase our numbers of contacts and the safety of the contacts that we have. And that's the way that we can stay in that safe zone.